everybody, JD here, live from Taylor Creek in Northern California, where the kokanee salmon and brown trout should be spawning everywhere. But unfortunately, you see, this thing is completely dry behind me. So as vice president of NorCal Guides and Sportsman's Association, I made a couple calls and so did our president yesterday to the US Forest Service who operates the dam on Fallen Leaf Lake and also to CDFW to see if we could get any help getting some water in here because we have tens of thousands of kokanee out in the lake down here below me wanting to spawn and they have nowhere to go. So, um, holy crap. <laughs> Check this out, no way. Check this out, I can't believe this. I just heard water flowing and literally as we speak, the creek is flowing. Let me get some video, I can't believe that. I guess so that's where I was just standing when I was shooting a video about how dire the situation is. And then I look over here and hear what sounds like water and I'll be damned. There's the dog. We got water flowing down Taylor Creek, folks. That is incredible. I mean, I'm literally right here. This is saving those trout that have been stranded. This is so awesome. That is crazy. Literally standing in the path of it. Talk about timing. I had no idea that anything was going to get done. And apparently, and I'll have to uh, report back on this when I uh, get back home, make a few calls to see if mine and James Stone's calls did not actually go unheated. I mean, this is awesome. It's not a lot of flow, and I know they don't have a ton of water to release up there, but. Hey, anything's better than nothing. This is saving all those trout's lives. It's crazy. So I've hiked up to Fallen Leaf Dam, which was completely blocked off yesterday. Now, the uh, operators clearly got some water flowing there. It's definitely not a lot. Again, we know they don't have a whole lot to spare this year. It looks like there's another, I don't know, those boards, another 15 inches worth of water to be let out. So maybe they'll hold that back and uh, wait till the uh, fish get ready to go. So Fallen Leaf Lake behind me here is uh, awfully low. So I don't know, unless we get a big rain, we're not gonna get a whole lot of water down this creek this year. But again, the fact that we got any at all is a, is a win at this point. So I walked this whole creek yesterday and it was completely bone dry, as you know. And now at least it's a little bit wet. So the fish have a chance. And that's exactly why you need to join NorCal Guides and Sportsmen's Association, ncgasa.org. It's only 20 bucks a year to become a member. People always ask, how can I help? Well, if you can help in a lot of different ways, you can jump in full, <laughs> both feet and really uh, volunteer your time like crazy, but you don't have to do that. By just paying the 20 bucks to become a member, we can add your name to the list. And so when we go into these meetings with Fish and Game or the other agencies that control your fisheries, 
we can say, hey, look, we represent X number of thousands of people. And that's how you get stuff done because they listen when it's numbers of people. So that's all you gotta do to help us out. And, and by the way, this little kokanee salmon fight, just a little teensy beansy thing that we're doing. We just got 2 million more king salmon fall run raised, not raised yet, but they're gonna be raised this year for Feather River. And we've done that twice now and we're not stopping. So if you value your fisheries future in California, definitely hook us up. Check out www.ncgasa.org. See you at the next meeting. Mm -hmm.